Say good morning, Papa. New vlog is up, just posted. We'll see how it does. The numbers aren't great, but they're consistent. That's all I care about. I gotta go finish cleaning up my apartment. I gotta try to be fair and get the fuck out of that place. Oh God. Things out here on the balcony. And this is the stuff that'll be going in the garbage. Ah. Every room is cleared. I lived here for four years. Literally this space where I'm standing right here. I had a futon rolled out as a bed. I had a TV right there on a cardboard box. And I was so excited, man. First place ever lived any wall. First place on my own after separating from somebody after nine years. I had some good memories here, but obviously it's time for a change. What I'm gonna do is a quick empty apartment tour. Cause I never did one when I moved in. So this, this was the master. Two closets, a washroom in there. I'm not gonna show the washroom. And this was what I decided would be the office. You know, good size. This was the washroom, a little old school. We covered, we had covered those up with some like of our own tiles. Closet, storage. Oh fuck, shit. More closet, which actually I was thinking about making the office. Just realized it wasn't the best idea. Four years after I moved in, I finally showed you guys what the apartment looks like. Can I give you a little backstory, a little history? Now, now it's on to the next chapter, which is where I live now. And I don't know how long I'm gonna live there. Currently right now, I enjoy living there. Speaking of that, I should probably get going. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's so, luckily, I was able to fit this in the car. It's our new table, but uh, I gotta put you guys down. Let's get this thing upstairs. Let me show you guys there. It's like a little circular table. My drone out of my bag, and it's my fault because I have been recklessly whiffing my bag around without the drone in the case, which is what this is for. It's specifically for the drone. It's a hard shell case. I took the drone out this morning. It was broken. Again, so right now I'm trying to super glue it and just pinch it together because it's still good I'm not gonna buy a new drone to go to fly the drone It needs to be updated which I always expect because I fly this thing like once every like five months But it's killing my battery. Oh good Update is successful now we can fly Go drone I need this This is always my problem. I touch the food too fucking much. It smells so good. <laughs> Broccoli. Well, just the hope. She's got this flick of the wrist type of chef shit. I'm not trying that. Oddly, maybe that's, you know what, maybe why so hyper is because we didn't take it for that second walk. I'm here by my mom's house, just waiting for her. I'm gonna go to Parkway Mall. I got a few things there. I guess some doggy bones, frisbee, and a leash. I should have wore a sweater today. And today, I don't know why, in short sleeves. And it is freezing. Not ideal breakfast treat, but I think I'll have one. I used to love these. Mm. I don't really fucking regret this one. Sure. Are you buying? <laughs> Get fucking in trouble. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to drive it. My board back up. I had to use like these dual sided adhesives where it's kind of like, but not Velcro ish. I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but 
I use it on everything, but I'm happy the board's back up. Okay, you see that 73 subscribers, 15,500 views total. You look at your traffic sources, like 32% from YouTube, browse features, channel pages, but look at that click-through rate, 18.8% average view duration, six minutes and 21 seconds. And that's just for one video. So as you guys can see, with my subscriber count, with my total view count, I have no reason by all accounts to commit to this. I'm the type of person, you know, I either do everything 150% or I don't do it at all. And I still think there's an opportunity to grow this channel, but I've been very firm in saying, I don't wanna do reviews, I don't wanna do unboxings. If it's a part of the vlog, then sure. But I don't wanna exclusively do that. I exclusively just enjoy vlogging. Always a challenge for me is people always ask me, oh, you know, do you wanna get popular on YouTube? Do you wanna become famous? Do you wanna have this big channel? I don't know how to answer that, but I do know that I do want the channel to be successful. But a nice, good following, that anticipate the video, that enjoy watching the video, that's what I strive for. I strive for to make the best videos I can for the people that are subscribed, and I would strive for that regardless of if my audience is 73 people, it's 500 people, it's 5,000 people. My goal is to just put the best videos that I can out there and create the best story I can out there. I feel like in saying that because I love YouTube so much and I like making the vlogs, I think it's cheating the people that are subscribed to the channel if I'm just kind of half-assing it. And even though I'm not half-assing it, I feel like I could be putting more good energy into the videos, I wanna take it more serious. Yeah, it's a hobbyist thing for me because I have a job, I have a full-time job, but I also wanna commit time now full-time to YouTube. That means picking up the camera, having ideas, making sure I execute. It doesn't mean quitting my full-time job. Obviously, I still have to make a living and I can't do that off YouTube. But what I can do is commit to making good videos, to creating good stories, and to just learning this craft and getting better at it. And I think that I can do that. I have the ability to do that, but I just have to, I haven't made that commitment yet that I'm choosing to make now, this video. And it's supposed to use it. You got home faster than I expected to, to be honest. like put it in the fridge. Oh. Does that be good for like whiskey? Or whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. 